Hey guys, what's up? So I'm still at the farm and I thought I'm just going to show you guys what I do here. Brad is at work till 5 but I think today he also has baseball. So I'm going to be here alone pretty much the whole day but there's a lot of things to do and I'm going to show you all of the animals, I'm going to show you what I eat throughout the day, I'm going to do a lot of exercising, I'm going to ride a bike and also I'm actually planning on making a whole video about why I'm vegan it's gonna be on my vlog channel but I'm thinking of filming it today and let me just show you what I just had for breakfast it's a very unusual breakfast uh, because it's not really breakfast food I guess but this combination I just discovered it yesterday and it's absolutely delicious so I just I had to have it for breakfast today I already ate it so yeah sorry and I know that my face is red, it's because I've been outside a lot and I kind of burned my face just a little bit so that's why I look a little bit red but there is just, all I have left is just the skins but I had some roasted sweet potatoes and I put a bunch of hummus on top of the sweet potatoes and then I topped it off with some sriracha oh my god, it was so so good, I highly recommend you guys try it out Sweet potatoes, hummus, and sriracha. The best thing ever. And I I seriously don't even like sweet potatoes that much. But just that combo together is like sweet, salty, and spicy together is just... Hey! What up? From the workout I did yesterday so it was extremely hard to stretch because I did 200 squats and uh, I did some exercises on the elliptical and and then I rode the bike a lot and yeah my legs really really hurt like right here and I was trying to do those stretches and it was uh, it was painful but I feel a little bit better now after some stretches that I did um, I'm gonna show you guys the llamas and the horses. So I'm just in the field right now on the pasture. And um, maybe I probably should have brought something for them, like some kind of treat, yeah. an apple or a carrot. Uh, yeah, I kind of just didn't. So I'm just gonna show you guys the animals, and the dogs are here, obviously, they follow me everywhere. I love all animals but cats cats have the special place in my heart because I grew up with cats and they're just so gentle creatures I love them so much so there's two cats on the farm this is the girl Snickers and there's also her brother Momo and they are barn cats so they don't live inside there are outdoors cats and they just sleep in the barn and the first day that we were here they were really afraid of us but now look at her she's not afraid of me anymore and she's a very loving cat Aww. hi look at her face she's so pretty hi girl now Sasha gets a little bit jealous but I'm patting the kitty
love too. Yes, you also need some love. You need some love. Whoa, be careful. No. <laughs> this is what happens most of the time. The cat comes over to me and then Sasha gets too jealous and she scares the kitty away. That's what she do. You scare the kitty away. Oh, and now look. Look what she's doing. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Sasha, no, you're so... Oh my God. Okay, she wants to be a cat. Look, look, look at her. Oh my God, look at what she's doing. She got on the bed. Sasha, you're not a kitty. Oh my God. Dogs really like to eat this grass. Look at them. Look at them eat this grass. Look at them. Look at them. She loves it. Hi, little one. Aww. Horses actually really like this grass as well. So maybe I'm gonna gather some and feed the horses a little bit because I didn't bring them any treats last time. So maybe I'll bring them some of this grass. some corn this I'm gonna feed llamas with Sasha it's not for you uh, no so I have to kind of get them to notice me right now and make sure that the horses don't notice me because horses love this stuff as well but I want to feed only llamas I have one brave llama coming up to me to get some food come on llama llama Aww. Oh shit, the horses are coming. God damn it. You guys, you gotta be fast. I'm gonna make a smoothie bowl because I'm kinda hungry, so I'm just gonna blend some frozen bananas and some frozen berries. So I'm gonna make some food and I'm just gonna quickly stir fry some mushrooms, tofu with pepper and I have some leftover rice. So let's get going. I guess I really burned my skin badly today. All right guys, so I wanted to make the cinnamon buns for maybe a week now and today is gonna be the day. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm making these vegan cinnamon buns. Flour, uh, I think you're supposed to use brown sugar but I only found coconut sugar. It's kind of similar so that's what we're gonna use. You're gonna need some non-dairy milk. I'm using soy, uh, vegan butter. I'm using earth balance and some yeast. So we're gonna start by adding some warm milk. And as I said previously, I'm using soy milk. I'm also gonna add three tablespoons of sugar. I decided to use just the regular white sugar to activate the yeast and then I'm gonna use the coconut sugar for the filling. So three tablespoons of sugar, 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the yeast in and I'm just using these uh, little packets of yeast I think the amount is just perfect I've never done this before you guys so if this doesn't work I mean I hope this works Right, so it's been about 15 minutes and the yeast has definitely bloomed. You can see all of this foam at the top. So that means that it's working, yay! I'm adding three tablespoons of melted butter. And I'm adding three cups of flour and I'm adding them cup by cup. So you add a cup, you go ahead and mix it in. scoop up more butter and melt it and now I'm gonna go ahead and spread the butter and I'm just gonna leave this little space over here blank without the butter because we're gonna need that space to stick so that's why we're not putting anything there so now here I'm gonna combine some sugar and cinnamon and then sprinkle this on top cooked but it's already what's the time it's already 10 o'clock so we're not gonna eat them right now but I'm gonna put them in the fridge and we're gonna cook them tomorrow hey guys this is the next day and I totally forgot to film me baking these cinnamon buns but um, they're all ready and I already put the caramel sauce on them and the pecans I will link the recipe in the description so you guys can check it out but it tastes absolutely delicious I already ate one the only thing that I would not recommend you guys do is put it in the fridge like I did. In the recipe, it said that you can totally do it and then bake it the other day. And because I made them so late at night, I thought that, you know, I'm just going to bake them today. But when I took them out of the fridge, they were like, they shrunk. They were not fluffy anymore. And that's kind of how I feel about them right now. They're definitely not fluffy. They taste great, but... I wanted them to be more pillowy and soft and they're just kind of hard on the edges and then soft on the inside so um, but yeah baking is not my forte and I always kind of screw it up but now I'm gonna know that the next time that I make them after they got after they brisen I should bake them right away but nonetheless they are really beautiful looking and they're actually really really tasty the sauce the caramel sauce it was absolutely amazing. You can use it probably on cheesecake or something else. It's like a It's a sea salt caramel sauce and all you need is some coconut sugar uh, Vegan butter vegan milk and some salt and it came out so delicious and it was done only like eight minutes really easy really really delicious So I'm gonna end the vlog here and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye